goodbyes, the hugs, obviously Coach Rivera getting let go. Yeah, it's always tough. You know, always the, the, end, the end of the year is always tough, you know, just saying goodbye to everybody and um, just getting the news about Coach Rivera is always tough, you know. Uh, he's, he's a good man, good coach, um, was, was good to me, good to all the players here. Um, so definitely thankful for, for everything he's done for me and for the opportunities he's given me for sure. This is going to be an offseason of change. How do the players embrace this change and can that be a good thing? Yeah, I think it can. I think, you know, obviously change is always, you know, it can either be a good thing or a bad thing, you know, and I think I think it's going to be good here. And I think, you know, Mr. Harris and his team are going to do a good job of bringing the right people in here. Um, so I think there's definitely a lot to be excited about. What was the message from Josh when he talked to them? Yeah, I mean, he pretty much, you know, um, just kind of told us, you know, the direction that they're going to go in. And obviously, they, they have a process in how they're going to go about hiring the next people here. Um, but. Um, I think he, one of the things he said, you know, he, he said he thinks that there's a lot of good people in, in the building. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's, he's going to do a good job. You know, he's, he's, he's a good owner. Um, he's got a lot of good help around him. Um, so he's going to get the right people here. For you personally, um, with the coach being let go, um, when you get that news, you know, how does that hit you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough just because, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for a lot of respect for Coach Rivera, and you know he's given he's given me the opportunity to to be the starter here. Um, and unfortunately, you know things kind of didn't go as as we planned, and and we didn't have a great year. Um, but yeah, it's always tough. At the end of the day, you know he's a good man, good coach, um, was always good to me, and definitely definitely he'll be someone that I appreciate for the rest of my life. Over the last your process between now and the next couple of months uh, for your off season. What's your process between now and then? Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing for me is, you know, you know, take some time and just, you know, go back and watch every game from the season, and just kind of reflect and, you know, take a lot of notes and just try to, you know, find some things that I really want to try and focus on in the offseason and try to get better for for next year. Um, so that's pretty much what I'll do. You know, I'll go back home to, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina, get with my trainer down there um, and, and start getting to work here pretty soon. How will you process the changes that are going to take place? Do you just wait to hear it from social media? Will you, how will you get it? Yeah, I don't really know. Um, I don't think anybody really knows, but uh, whatever it is, you know, I'll, I'll be happy with. Um, but I'm ready for anything, you know. I don't, I don't really know what it's going to look like or, or how things are going to play out. Um, but whatever it is, you know, I'll, I'll be ready to go. Over the last couple of days, there have been several players discussing the culture in this locker room. But maybe there's been too much of an acceptance of losing here. Have you noticed that? And, and how does that get back fixed? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I haven't really noticed that. I mean, I just think it's just, you know, we, we've lost a lot of games um, and it just kind of is what it is. And, you know, you try to come in here with a positive mindset and that doesn't mean you've accepted losing. Um, it just means you come in here with a positive attitude, positive mindset, ready to go to work. Um, I don't think anybody likes to lose. Um, so I don't really, I really couldn't say that people have accepted it. Um, I know there's a lot of people here that want to win and do everything they can every single week to go out there and try to win. Um, so I really can't say anything about that. How different does your body feel this year as opposed to last? Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, I feel pretty good. You know, my body uh, got through the season um, pretty healthily, pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I didn't really take any major, didn't have really any major injuries. Um, so I was just super thankful and blessed to get through the season healthy. You know, O-line really came on well and, and finished the year strong. Um, so just appreciative of those guys. But yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, obviously, just that there's going to be change, you know, and that he's, you know, gonna, he's got a lot of people around him, got a lot of help, and they're going to, you know, go out and find the right people that they need. And he's he's committed to bringing championship football here, um, and he's very passionate about that, and he's going to do everything in his power to bring that here. Sam, you've always taken responsibility throughout the season, whatever the result was of the game, but I'm sure you've heard, obviously, throughout the year, oh, Sam has to learn, he has to do this, he has to do that. Did you ever, does that ever weigh on you mentally? Now you come to the end of the season, it's like, you know, the, the record is what there is and it wasn't all your fault? Uh, not really. I mean, I really don't get too caught up in whose fault it is. You know, I really just try to control what I can control and just do my best and, you know, try to put my best foot forward each and every day and, and give this team, give this organization every single thing that I got every single day. Um, I don't really get too caught up in whose fault it might really be or who is to blame. Um, I just try to control what I can control and, be the best player I can be for this team, be the best teammate um, to my teammates. Um, and that's pretty much how, how I do it. Was it difficult to stay um, level-headed mentally going through the ups and downs of the season? No, I mean, I think, you know, I've always been pretty focused. Um, it's it's kind of something that's come natural to me, just being able to stay focused on the task at hand and, you know, take it one week at a time. You know, the good thing about this league is 
you have a bad game, you know, you got a ne- you got another game the next week. Um, so you got to have a quick turnaround and, you know, set your focus to the next game. And I think when you have that take it one day at a time approach, it's easy to get through it. Can you awesome. Thanks, Sam. Sam. How do you kind of take it all in? Part of the business. You know, that's how that's what happens when you um, that's what happens when you have a season like this, right? Um, it's tough, uh, but you know, everything. I, I feel like this. Everybody in this building, you know, loves Ron Rivera, you know, as a person and all that. Um, but you know, when you're the leader of the ship, uh, somebody has to go down with it. So that's the one who gets the call all the time. So it's just the part of the business and how it goes. How tough is this business? How tough is it personally? Um, it is. It's always tough, but you know. One of the things I always say is control what you can control. And as a player, you can only do your job. Um, you're, not, you're not the one making the decisions as he's making. You know, he's made all the decisions, and this is the outcome, and this is the, the result of it. So um, as a player, you just got to do your job and stay focused on what you got to do. And actually, I think a lot of guys, I told some people already, like, this is good opportunity coming from a lot of guys. You know, um, change is not always a bad thing. Uh, I remember when I was in my previous employer in Chicago, um, we, they fired my coach my rookie year. It could have been bad for me, but you know, new regime comes in, they see something in me, they give me an opportunity. So you got to understand that there's opportunity in this. Why did it go so south this year? Do you think? Can't put my finger on any any one particular reason. There's a lot of reasons. Um, I'm not going to say there's one. It's a lot. You know, Where I think you see that. that. Well, where we go from here? Yeah. That's up to the owner and the owner's group, ownership group. They're going to decide who's going to come in with a GM and a head coach, but that's not our choice. We can't control that. As a vet, somebody that's done it, are there any recommendations you would make if they asked? Me? Yeah. I got recommendations, but I don't want to be the person to say, hey, we should go after this, go after that guy. Only person, I, only, pe- only thing I have a recommendation on is who's going to be in the office and line room. That's the only thing I got a recommendation on. Everything else is kind of, you know, that's their choice. You know, you said change sometimes can be good. What what can a reboot do for a locker room, for for a franchise? Energy. um, uh, You know, it gets, you know, energy is something that, you know, um, is contagious, you know, in a good way or a bad way, right? Um, Some people are energy vampires. Some people bring good energy. So if you have a reboot in in that way, get the right coaching staff in here, get the right GMs and all that, people making the decisions. That gives great energy and can reboot a, 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 a whole franchise. Over the last couple of days, there's been a couple of players discussing the culture here and, and maybe a culture of too much accepting of the losing. Yeah. Have, have you noticed that at all? For sure. I would say a couple of things that I thought of um, that, yeah, the two things that always come to mind is a standard and structure. And I, was, I feel like that was something I was lacking here in, uh, in our organization, a standard and, and a structure. So when you have those two things, um, this, is the, this is the cause and this is the effect of that. Who fixes that? Is that is well, that's that... up top. That start, always starts up top. You know, the standard is, uh, starts up top. It has to be like, this is what we are, this is who, what we're going to do, and this is how we're going to do it every single day. Um, and that starts up top. Well, is that an accountability that? thing? How would you say that Eric affected all that? What? On the offensive side, how would you say Eric affected all that? This is how it, how did he affect that? Yeah, the standard, the, the structure, and kind of the transition that you guys had from um, what it was to what it's now. To be honest, EB was the same person every day. Uh, you knew what you was going to get out of him. Um, and that's that's really all I got to say. He was the same guy every day, so I have nothing to say about that. So I, I would love to be here. I love my teammates. I know this is going to look <laughs> night and day different next year, um, and I wish the best for all these guys. But uh, yeah, man, I've, you know, I've had a lot of prayer and thoughts about it. And I would love to be here, you know, but I also know how the business works, and you know, I've, I've waited a long time to get, you know, my share, um, and so we'll see how that goes. But I'm hoping it's here. How, how, how are you doing? How are you on the trajectory of coming back? Uh, I mean, you know, nothing's been really talked about. Obviously, right now, my focus 100% has just been rehabbing, you know, and I've been just focusing on that. Sorry, I'm not with the rehabbing. We're oh, like, oh, 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 yeah. How's it oh, it's great, man. I mean, I've, uh, I'm, I'm a month ahead of schedule of where I was at. You know, I've been just grinding it out every day, you know, and uh, 
just thankful for the grind of it. You know, as you go through one, you get over one hump, and you know, I climbed one mountain, and then I kind of got knocked back down and had to climb again. You know, that's the beauty of it. That's the journey. And so, uh, you know, I'm just taking it day to day and uh, enjoying the process of it. Sound like so for like OTAs or something like that, you'd be ready to come by. That's the goal. You know, that's the goal. I, I got my date set. I won't tell you guys. I'll just let you see when I come back. But, uh, yeah, that's the goal, you know, is to, is to get back full force and, you know, be ready for OTAs and just get after it, you know, so. Jeremy, where do you think things kind of went sideways this season? Is there a point you can circle or, or not particularly? Um, you know, I, it's there's no real pinpoint on it, you know. In reality, just like sometimes things just don't go your way, you know. The hard part about the business is that you have expectations of what you want a year to be and you work your ass off in the off season and, um, sometimes the shit just doesn't go well, right? You know, I had goals of being this, this something this year, and then it just didn't work out. I got hurt the one time in my career I've ever been hurt. So sometimes that's just life, you know? Sometimes, you know, things go left when you want them to go right. And um, it's unfortunate because this business, again, is about winning, and that's what people want. Um, that's what we want, hell, I mean, I want to win. I've been, you know, here, and I've been weathered a lot of storms here, and I want to be a winner, you know? That's part of playing this game, you love to win. Um, and so I think just it's one of those years where it was just tough and nothing really just clicked. You know, it's, it seemed like one thing after another. Emmanuel, your initial response when you heard the news about Ron Rivera? Uh, you know, I hate for anybody to lose their job. You know, that's how he support his family and things. But, you know, it's a business and we just got to go the uh, opposite direction. Where does this team go now? Now that the man that drafted you into this league is no longer here, where, where do you go from here? Uh, you know, it's a new guy uh, that's coming in that did not draft me, like you said. So, you know, I uh, just got to uh, prove myself to them that I'm able to play for them and, uh, you know, just prove that I'm worth it. How do you feel about all this change that's, that's just happening now? Oh, you know, it's my first year in the league and it's uh, my first time ever going through something like this. So. That's something new, and I just got to uh, figure out a way how to, how it is, figure out how it is. Have you had a chance to speak with Ron Rivera, and if so, how did that conversation go? Oh, uh, yeah, I talked to him uh, yesterday after the game, and he was just like, even if he ain't here, you know, just prove why he drafted me here and just uh, show show everybody, show everybody wrong, honestly. We appreciate the time. Thank you. What was it like playing for Coach Rivera? Oh. Um, like I said, man, we had some good times, we had some rough times, but uh, we enjoyed it. And um, I talked about it yesterday, but um, not to say it was an uh, amazing thing, to, but to, to be through somebody through like a crucial part of their life and, um, you know, and see how he battled that, and, uh, you know, that's something you'll never forget. And, you know, he was still there through, uh, for us throughout that process. So, you know, we always had love for him. Did he speak to you guys about you know, him possibly leaving after the game yesterday or this morning. Do you think he kind of saw this coming? Um, no, um, you know, we just found out about the news today. But um, you know, when things kind of go south like this, you kind of expect stuff like this to happen. But he didn't. He didn't bring it up to us until you know now um, in the meeting. What was his message to the team last night after the game? Um, just that he appreciate us. Uh, you know, uh, regardless of what was going on with the season, um, it was a, a really bad season. But you know, the guys we fought. Uh, we didn't just tuck our tails and, and you know let things happen. Um, still didn't turn out the way we wanted, but we didn't just sit back and let it happen. Uh, we fought, you know, all the way through, and um, you know he he appreciated us for that and, and allowing what he said for allowing us for him to coach us. Um, it's hard to really say because so many days go by and you do so many things and you have so many reps and so many plays and you play so many games that you can't really point it on one single thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. We couldn't get all we couldn't get all our eggs in the same basket at one time. Like one game the offense might be hot, one game the defense might be hot instead of everybody being together. And I felt like that was a lot of our season this year. Just up and downs. How hard is this for you just personally after four years in DC? Um it's really bittersweet to go out like this. Um no one likes losing, especially when you put so much into it, when you're a competitor as such. Um yeah, like this, this is a bit of taste in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, spent four years here, and how many winning seasons did we have? None. Right. So, as a professional athlete, it's not really much to hang your hat on.
you know how much he's poured into this organization, this, these coaches, and you know these players, and uh, you know he, there's a lot of love shown um, from us to him um, today and uh, all year long. You know it's, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, you know what he's done for us. So you never want to see anybody lose their job, right? It's part of the business. As players, do you feel like, in a sense, you let Ron down, or, or you're part of the reason why this happened because just the, the wins losses weren't there? Yeah, you know, I mean. You know, if you look at like your play, you know, all season, like you know, there, there's better plays to be made, um, and you know, poor actions have poor consequences. You know, it's, so it's like you know, us players, uh, we do control, you know, a lot of what happens, you know, outside the building as well. So, um, yeah. Going forward, what, 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 why should fans be optimistic? Obviously, we talked about the losses, but you're in this locker room and in, in between the lines. Why is there hope with this team? Yeah, um, there's still there's so much young talent on this team. Like um, you know, the potential, um, you know, is off the charts. Um, you know, in this locker room. So um, you know, there's going to be a lot of new faces. Um, you know, players and coaches next year, and um, you know, and uh, you know, it's just kind of like how the new ownership was. Uh, you know, this previous you know uh, training camp and everything. There's going to be a lot of hype, and so um, you know, we're going to show up. Uh, we're going to take some time off, um, you know, get your body, get your mind right, and then, uh, you know, we're showing up to next year uh, with a purpose. So, um, you know, there's, there should be a lot to look forward to. Thank you. You know, I would just say, like, it's definitely kind of a kick in the gut, you know, when you lose your two best ends, you know, just for the team morale. Um, you know, that wasn't easy for the team. Um, but, you know, overall, you know, we dealt with some injuries and, and um, you know, just things were clicking, you know, all off season. Oh, all off season you heard that, you know, one, one game offense would have a good game, defense wouldn't. One game defense would have a good game, offense wouldn't. It just didn't play complimentary football with both sides of the ball. You know, that just hurt us in each and every game that we played. I felt like... Um, when we did have it together, we did. We were very, very good. But I mean, that was just uh, short spurts that you saw throughout the season. Charles Leno earlier talked about kind of the structure you need and the leadership from the top. You know, you've got an, at least another year here. Do you, do you hope that everything changes now with new ownership, kind of a refresh now? Um, you know, yeah. I mean, like you kind of just start from square one and then build from there. You know, I think that's what they're doing with uh, obviously the head coaching job, you know, change. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, just having the right, like I said, having the right guys, and that's up to Mr. Harris and the owners to, to figure that out. Um, who are gonna be the right guys that can ultimately create a winning team. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, to, to this team. Um, I'm tired of just not playing good football, sloppy football. I mean, you saw all year, it was just really, really sloppy football, and I hated it. I uh, just hate being a part of that. And so uh, I want to be around a winning culture. I want to be around a winning team and people that just want to die to win, you know? And so, um, you know, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to bring my, my skills and my work and my attitude and my, all that tough to the table when I get here each and every day at work, you know, when it comes to the OTAs going forward. So uh, I'm looking forward to that for sure. Yeah, you're good. What was, what was Coach's <laughs> final message to you, to you guys? Um, you know, it was just an honor and a privilege to, to be a part of this team and to have, you know, coached us and did what he did. And so, uh, you know, it was a short message, short and sweet and to the point. And that was kind of pretty much the consensus of the message. Um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to run the ball more. Me personally, being our O line, you know, give us a better chance to to be more balanced. I felt like we weren't balanced. I think we're thirtieth in the league in attempts and runs. Um, I love running the ball. And I felt like it was just nothing but like drop back passes. So I just wanted to be more balanced. To be completely honest with you, um, just run the rock, please. So that's all I would have to say for that. Um, 
I mean, it's definitely something that, you know, I've been a part of in college, you know, coaching staff change. So, I mean, I, I guess it's something that got to happen. And, um, you know, for me, just being being able to control what I can control and, you know, that's my effort, things I put on tape and uh, just the person I continue to be. So that's going to change for me, just going to keep, you know, being myself and uh, just looking forward to, you know, new beginnings. Josh here spoke to you guys this morning in your team meeting, is that right? Yeah. What was kind of his message to you guys announcing, of course, that Rivera's gone and what he has planned for you guys in the future? Yeah, he really just uh, talked about, you know, things that, you know, he's going to focus on going forward, uh, just building a new uh, staff and, you know, just putting the right people in place for us to be successful. Is that exciting to know that he seems like a really passionate guy? He really wants a, an established, successful, sustainable future for you guys here in Washington? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I, he's obviously the, the owner of the team, so you, you want someone who's, you know, passionate and, you know, wants to do what's best for the team and for the players. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. How would you describe? Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. What would you want out of the next regime, like coaching wise? Like, is there any type of particular type of coach you would like to see um, come in, or a style that you would like to see come in? Um, I feel like I've had you know every coaching style imaginable. So, I mean, it, it really don't matter to me, honestly, man. Just you know, somebody to put us in the best position to be successful, and um, like I said, I continue to be myself, man, and just you know, put my best foot forward. How would you describe what's going on here today? You got boxes, teammates hugging one another. Uh, you know, what, what? How would you describe the emotions that's that's taking place today in this locker room? Yeah, I mean, we we talked about it. We've been talking about it, man. This the last time a lot of us will be together uh, as teammates. So, man, it's, it's a bittersweet moment for us. You know, uh, like I said, the season definitely didn't go as as planned. But you know, just being able to be here with some of these guys, man, and you know, learn from one another is pretty cool. Hey, Paul, how do you reflect on kind of how you felt on draft night versus with the reality of what it's been through these years? Uh, I mean, it's just a grind at the end of the day, man. It's always going to be bumps in the road. You can't let none of that stop you. Just figure out what we need to do to get this thing rolling in the right direction and just take it full out of steam. Did you ever feel like you had a full direction of like what your career should look like? Uh, I mean, just scratching the surface at the end of the day. I mean, you never know. <laughs> What play might be your last, so you got to go out there, play with your head on fire, and see where things go. How closely will you be watching the head coaching search, GM search, everything like that? Will you be tracking it closely? Or? Not necessarily. I mean, right now my main focus is rehab so I can get back in here with the guys and figure out this thing so we can get it rolling. That's really my big focus right now, and just trying to do whatever I can so I can get back out there and play some ball. You're going to stay here for rehab or you're going home? Nah, nah. Don't get back out to Cali for a little minute. <laughs> there we go. You see boxes being put away and guys hugging and walking out. How does that hit you? I mean, it's bittersweet. I mean, you're around these guys every single day, and, you know, it's, it's that time of the year where everybody got to, you know, regroup, get their bodies back together, get ready for next year. So, I mean, it's time to put your foot down and get rolling. So that's all you really can say about it. What's the mood when you hear that the head coach has been relieved of his duties and there's a major change going on? When you hear it, where does that go for you? Uh, I mean, it's a bittersweet feeling because Ron's a good dude on and off the field, of course. So, um, you know, you can always reach out to him if you need anything, whether he's your head coach or not. So, I mean, it's not like a, oh, God, the world's coming to the infield or anything like that. It's more so of you can look at him as like a father figure, in a, in a, so to speak. So, Jamie, what gives you hope looking at this team going forward, this franchise, that better days are kind of on the horizon here. Regardless of the situation, everybody just kept playing and kept doing what they needed to do, and it's always going to be that way. So whether we 4-13 or whatever, or undefeated at the end of the day, everybody in this locker room going to keep pushing and stick together, and that's how it's always going to be. It's going to be different, and now it's going to be really different because of all these changes. Yeah, I think uh, I think that the, the, new, the new season factor – it just carries so much weight, you know, that like a lot of the a lot of the disappointment and sadness and frustrations and um, things that you feel left unfinished or things you were unhappy with. I mean, dude, you show up in April and it's reload and go. So there's a there's a very like refreshing part of that personally um, as a team, um, as an organization. And so that I mean, that's literally what's next. We got nothing till then. So, yeah. You always have an injury, a unique perspective on what's happening and but as a player and who you are. What do you kind of make of why things just kind of went sideways this year? 
You know, I think that uh, I think that whenever you kind of look back at the season um, and just just thinking back to us starting two and zero, and then we go and we lose to Philly, and it was a just a hard fought game, losing in overtime, and there was just these these little little big fights. You know, where like you're going to throw punches and you're going to take punches, and just little things along the way just kept us from really gaining that traction and really getting rolling and. You know, that's something I, I can't imagine being a coach looking back and watching the guys that you've been prepping with all week and, and we just we, we came up short and um, it's hard to it's hard to kick start that once things kind of start to be tough to gain traction and so it uh, but that that's that's what a lot of us leaders on the team and things like that that we got to be better at too so you know the fan base wants they want wins they kind of forget about the personal side of it you talked about it yesterday the personal side of of losing a guy like Ron Rivera. Yeah, um, I uh, he he is just the best man. Like I, uh, I I just got a chance to go chat with him, and I told him a lot of a lot of people may not know this story in particular. I don't think he mind me sharing, but uh, the COVID season, the 2020, we're in the middle of a, a playoff push, uh, and towards the end of the year, and and my my dad got really sick with COVID, and ultimately was in the hospital. And we ended up losing dad just before the Philly game. And for two weeks, coach, coach just called every night. Just, hey, any update? And that's just, just who he is. It's just, just a, a great story I'll always remember. And also encouraged me just as a, as a guy. I just, I loved, I loved having fun and I loved being a punter here. But he, he really brought out me to be, an energy guy, a, a fun guy, a, a, a leader, and I'm I'm just honored I get to wear a C on my chest to be a captain here, and I, I don't I don't think that happens without Coach Ron and, and Coach Nate for sure. Yeah. Everything changes so fast, uh, things happen so fast. So, you know, being in here for the last time this year, you don't know who you're gonna see next year. Um, you don't know who you're gonna see when the OTAs come around. So. You know it is. It is a tough day. Um, you you want to. You, you just want to talk to everyone uh, because you you don't know who's who's going to be back. So um, yeah, it is a tough day for everyone. Were you able to share a moment with uh, Ron Rivera? Obviously, he drafted you. He brought you here. What was that like, kind of seeing him leave? Yeah, I, I shared a moment with Coach Rivera yesterday after the game. Um, I told him, you know, thank you. I appreciate you for taking a chance on me um, and helping me achieve uh, the dreams that I've always dreamed of uh, as a little kid. Um, you know, he took a chance on me, uh, and that, that's all you ask in someone. So I'll, I'll forever be appreciative of that. It's gonna be an offseason of change. Can that be a good thing for this franchise, for this locker room? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we at the end of the day, you guys know we we all know we we need change. Uh, we we need, you know, things to be different around here, um, and I feel like that that's happening uh, right in front of our eyes. Um, I, I hope it's for the better. I hope everyone buys in uh, because I'm going to buy in, um, and I, I can't wait for the future. Trust told us that we're good, dog. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you know, it, it is exciting uh, because Mr. Harris is is the future for us. Um, so you know, to to have him speaking speak to the team um, and have a have an owner who who you know. Who's not afraid to get in front of the guys and, and talk to us um, and engage with us? You know, uh, it, it's different things like him just being at being at the games, being on the sideline. You get to see him up close and personal. You get to talk to his family. So you know, he's doing things the right way, um, and I, I'm super excited for him. Yes. <laughs> Dismissed. How do you react? Oh, definitely sad to see. You know. Um, you know, when I came to this league, that's, that's been my coach. I mean, for six of my seven years, that's been my coach. So I'm forever grateful for everything that he's done, you know, for me and definitely for this team. Were you surprised at kind of how things got away from you all this season? I mean, it just was tough. You know, we had our ups and downs. We just had more downs than ups. Um, you know, I just felt like we just couldn't come together and just play, you know, four quarters of football. What about for you going forward, you know, free agency, wherever you might end up? When do you start thinking about all those options? Um, I, I don't really focus on it too much. You know, it's just about getting my body back right and, you know, prepare for the next step, you know, my journey. Do you want to be back here and part of a rebuild or a new look organization? Is that on your mind yet? I mean, I don't, I haven't really had no thought of that. I mean, I wouldn't mind being back here, you know, but I'm going to let things fall the way they fall. 
and um, I just focus on my health and you know enjoying myself. What do you think has been lacking with the organization the last couple of years to kind of get over that hump and win more consistently? I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really speak on that. I mean, I just I know. I mean, in this room, I feel like over the past season we had a lot of great talent, uh, a lot of great players. Um, it's just unfortunately we came out short. How's the culture in, the, in this locker room? I feel like it was a great coach. I mean, I feel like we had a lot of guys that played together. Um, a lot of guys trusted each other. I feel like it was a real good close group. You know, a lot of guys hanging around each other. So, you know, I don't feel like that was a problem. Rivera is known as a player's coach in your experience here with him. Do you feel like that open door communication was there and that you can go to him with pretty much anything? Uh, absolutely. I mean, he always, you know, uh, took what players say into consideration. You know, you could go talk to him. He's a coach that, you know, is easy to talk to. And, you, I mean, in a sense, you're not afraid to go talk to, you know, because you underst he understands that he's played the game before. Did you guys get to talk to Ron yet since the news came down? <clears throat> uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I definitely stopped by just because I felt like um, everything he's done for me, trusting in me coming here. Um, so I definitely had to stop by and, you know, say what I had to say to him. Seemed like he's doing okay. Uh, absolutely. Um, he's in good spirits. And, you know, um, you know, nobody knows what our next journey is, you know, for him, for me. You know, it could be back here. It could be somewhere else. But, um, you know, just got to be prepared for it. Chris, how surprised are you the way things kind of unfolded the last couple years and this year in particular? Uh, definitely frustrating because, like I said, we got so much talent in this room. I feel like we had a lot of great coaches. Um, we just came up short. With ownership likely to do an overhaul of um, a lot of the coaching staff, front office, all that, how do you feel like Eric B. I mean, this is kind of his first chance really taking a bigger role being an assistant head coach here. In your experience with him, how do you think he did as far as the offense and things like that? Um, I feel like we had a lot of we had a lot of great talent, a lot of great pieces. I mean, of course, it's always, I always feel like it's things that we could have we could have done better. But um, I mean, I feel like he did a, a job of putting us in a position, you know, to succeed out there. You know. Um, Put us in situations, and we just got to capitalize on. Thank you.